obviously traditionally um, Trent Bridge is a high scoring ground and um, it'll, be, um, it'll be exciting to see what scores we can post and um, yeah I'm really looking forward to, to meeting everyone and um, like I said hopefully putting on a lot of wins for, for, for the fans. Um, but yeah it's a fantastic place to play, um, the history that that's at the ground it's amazing just when you sort of step into step your foot into the gates. And first off I suppose as, as captain of Trent Rockets what a team it is to be able to make use of. What are your thoughts on the squad so far? Yeah, it's it's a massive honour to to be asked to to captain um, the first edition of of the new competition. And yeah, we're building a, a real nice squad. We've we've got a lot of superstars um, in the squad, a lot of match winners, and uh, that's really exciting to to be involved with. And um, we got some yeah some real match winners, and um, I can't wait to sort of get in, a, in the dressing room with them and, and sort of keep learning off them and, and getting some thoughts off them. And um, like I said, hopefully we can we can sort of build a nice team rapport quite quickly and um, get off to a flyer in the comp. It feels like whatever approach you take as captain, it, it can't fail to be entertaining with some of the, the guys in that, uh, that squad. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, obviously the shorter the format gets, the the more that sort of one person can can win you a game and um, we've definitely got that in abundance um, I mean you look at the way that that Hales he's going about things at the moment um, he's, he's nearly impossible to bowl at, at times and um, yeah so hopefully hopefully we can see the best of him obviously we've got Darcy um, who's very similar uh, we've got a lot of guys that hit the ball sort of out of the park and obviously traditionally um, Trent Bridge is a high scoring ground and um, it'll be um, it'll be exciting to see what scores we can post and and then we've got superstars like Rashi Khan to to try and defend them. So um, yeah, it, it's it's really exciting and uh, looking forward to getting cracking with it. You did get Darcy out earlier in the uh, the BBL season, of course. Though, uh, what, what have you made of him and Hales out there this season? Yeah, they're they're obviously fantastic. I mean, the the Big Bash is obviously widely watched around the world, and this competition for the last few years that I would sort of loved and jumped at the opportunity to to be involved in and. Yeah, first game to come out, I came out of quarantine um, on Christmas Day and two days later I was playing in the first game. So I hadn't had a huge amount of cricket behind me. And um, yeah, luckily things went my way that day and managed to get Darcy and, and, and Maller out, um, which which was quite nice to, to have a little chat with them after the game and have one over on them. But um, yeah, it's it's one of them that it's it's great to be out here playing cricket and, and playing in front of crowds and um Hopefully, by the time we're we're playing back in back in England, um, the country will, will be in a slightly better spot, and, and we'll be able to get guys get, get get people in through the gates and and watching us play. It's something a, a lot of players have talked about who are, who are part of the Trent Rockets setup who've played around the world. That that experience of sharing a dressing room with sort of international giants of the game, I suppose the likes of Rashid Khan in this instance, the, the number one pick. What does that bring you as a player? Yeah, it's, it's it's an opportunity to learn, um, and and everyone in the squad should should be trying to talk to these guys and pick their brains and and sort of find out how they go about things and, and how they do things. And um, yeah, it's it's amazing to be able to have that opportunity to to talk to people and, and learn off these these greats of the game in in the shortest formats. And um, yeah, the the guys in the squad will will learn a hell of a lot of of stuff from them and. Um, hopefully they'll be able to win a win a few matches on their own, and um, it'll be great viewing for myself and and everyone that supports us. So um, yeah, thoroughly looking forward to it. And there will be a few new things, especially as skipper, to uh, to think about with it being a fresh format and some slightly different rules and regulations to to handle. Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, there's a few different things that that is going to be slightly different to the to the normal game of of T uh, Twenty cricket. So. We're going to have to, um, yeah, kind of learn on our feet a little bit and adapt and and try and do um, try and do things slightly differently and yeah, it's it's going to be so slightly tactical things and and how we can um, how we can utilise them to to our benefit and um, obviously like in here we're talking about the, the ten over ten balls from from one end. Um, you can obviously get some short boundaries in England at times, so it could be quite tough tough job trying to defend with the ball but then equally how you look to attack that with the bat um, but I'm, I'm sure that we'll leading up into it we'll, we'll have conversations about how to go about things slightly differently and um, hopefully we'll be able to adapt quicker than, than other teams and, and get off to a flyer. As a uh, as a player how exciting is it to have 
a venue like Trent Bridge, which has become such a kind of great white ball venue in recent years, to have that as your home for a, for a few weeks this summer? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's a great place to play cricket. Um, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed playing at Trent Bridge when, when I've had the opportunity to. Um, I've not played a huge amount of white ball cricket there, um, but the few games, few games I have, it's, it's kind of been mixed. We've, we've won a few times and lost a few times. So, um, but yeah, it's a fantastic place to play. Um, the history that that's at the ground, it's amazing. Just when you sort of step into, step your foot into the gates, um, to see the place is, is pretty special. And yeah, to be able to call that my home, home ground for, for four or five weeks this year is, is going to be, is going to be really special. And, um, yeah, can't wait to, to get out there and um, get out there and play and, and try and contribute to, to a winning team. And on those those white ball occasions in particular, you'll have experienced the Trent Bridge crowd, admittedly on the opposition side at that point. But uh, but it, to be able to have that sort of crowd cheering for you must be quite an exciting prospect. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's always it's always great playing at Trent Bridge. You we, you get lo- loads of fans in, um, and hopefully it'll be no different and. Yeah, like you said, it'll be it'll be slightly different being cheered for than than against. But um, yeah, the, the support that 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 knots get, and, and I'm sure that we'll get with Trent with the Trent Rockets as well, will will be amazing. And hopefully, the the country's in a place that we'll be able to get people into into the ground and, and watching. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to to meeting everyone. And um, like I said, hopefully, putting on a lot of wins for for, for the fans.